when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Marvin Harrison, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns add six to their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Tucker now for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Getting out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Reggie White picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That right now... That's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. Taking it about the 36. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we know these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. To throw on second and ten. Mahomes got his man complete over the middle. It's Harrison. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack is by Janoris Jenkins coming in off the corner. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. 